Today's ruling from the Supreme Court has some borrowers worried about making their future loan payments. KTV's Alice Wirtz joins us live now with reaction tonight from Bay Area students and state leaders. Alice. That's right, Jana. Reaction to the Supreme Court's decision was swift here in California from Democratic leaders denouncing the decision throughout the state. Representative Barbara Lee tweeted, as a single mom, she knows firsthand how the burden of student loan debt can impact a person's life. Also mentioning, we cannot accept a return to the failed status quo, especially one that disproportionately impacts black and brown communities. Hello, folks. UC Law professor David Levine says the president's new proposal may seem like a rescue effort, but it'll likely take a while. And even then, there's no guarantees he'll be able to slash student loans in his current term. It may take a little longer. The parameters may be a little different. But since this opinion was simply a statutory interpretation case, that at least the Biden administration has the opportunity to try with this other act. And of course, they could go back to Congress, but I think that with the gridlock in Congress, it's extremely unlikely they could get authority there. As for how college students feel about the ruling, these pre-med students are each going into their fourth year. They worry about others more than themselves. But as someone who's looking at, down the road at med school, how mm -hmm. does this make you feel? Scared, very scared. I mean, I know I'm going to be in a lot of debt. I think eventually I'll be able to pay them off because I am going into medicine and I will be a doctor and I have that stability ahead. But I think for other people that aren't going into fields like medicine or law, it's a lot more risky for them. And yeah, so thankfully I feel like I'm in a good enough place with my track, but it's just not everyone's like that. And that's really disappointing and frustrating. I don't think it should. Alec Crystal is also a pre-med student, finishing up his last year for his undergrad. He took out loans for his education and expects he'll be taking out a lot more. No matter what, if we want to be an advanced society and compete with other countries, we need to be pursuing STEM. And that's always been something that has been an American core value. Um, but, you know, with that being said, it's still very difficult to pay off those loans and it just becomes a problem for Americans in the future later down the line. Um, you know, because people are still going to pursue it. We need the engineers. We need doctors. And advanced professions like engineers, computer scientists, doctors, nurses, all in high demand. And that's not winding down in years to come, likely requiring students to take out more loans to fulfill America's future workforce of professionals. All right, Alice Wirtz in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Alice.